vlog three I shot on the Olympus TG870. It's not the greatest, but it has one of these, a flip up LCD. It's easy to do selfies with it. Another neat thing about this camera is it has built in time lapse features. It's not the perfect camera, but it's a good backup camera. And it's small enough to fit into a pocket, so I like that. Another thing I shoot with is the Osmo. A lot of people know about these. It has limitations. Uh, it is quite heavy with a heavy cell phone on it, so it is difficult to hold it in front of you for a long time. Also, you, you have to be aware of the minimum focal distance on this thing. So you do have to hold it pretty far away from your face to be in focus. And with a heavy cell phone on it, it can get tiring very, very quickly. If I don't have a camera on me or I'm trying to be nonchalant, I'll just use my cell phone. And this is a Galaxy S7 Edge, so it it does shoot in 4K, which is nice. My preferred camera is this one right here, which is a Sony Alpha 6000. So I didn't realize that my cell phone was pointing at me when I was trying to show the Alpha 6000. So I'll do this, because now I know for sure it works. This is the Sony Alpha 6000. My mirror is dirty. This is my preferred camera, Sony Alpha 6000. It's a beauty. It was a gift from my wife. Thanks, babe. Hmm? This is a gift from you, thank you. Beautiful camera. When you have kids, especially toddlers, everything gets messed up. <clears throat> my television, covered in crayon. For play table, covered in crayon. An old fish tank, covered in crayon. Look, my laptop, crayon. Table, crayon. Everything's covered in crayon in our house now. I shot a video on my my cell phone which uh, explained some of the gear that I used to use back in the day and I didn't post it because the quality I felt was was terrible um, but you know what I'm gonna roll it for you anyway so you can check it out it is quite lengthy and um, if you don't want to stay for the whole thing, I get that. When I first started shooting the Life of a Trucker series, uh, I was using technology that by today's standards would be ancient. And what I mean by that is I used to use these cameras that were DB tape cameras. And there's even one in here. And these, these were good at the time, but the problem was when you recorded videos, you ended up with boxes and crates of DV tapes. So this is the technology that I started with back in the day. And this is only, seven, eight, nine years ago. And then came along these little camcorders that took SD cards and uh, life was good. Look, there's the equivalent of probably 30 DV tapes right there. So along came DSLRs. These are beautiful things. 
this is my Sony Alpha 6000 and it's it's perfect it's everything that I need it to be it's it's amazing so technology from when I started to now obviously is advanced and it's also made uh, filmmaking that much more easier especially for beginners we used to have to stabilize rigs with something like this which could never get it balanced just didn't work for me and now with today's technologies we have electronic motorized gimbals that will do the balancing for you cameras were this big and you maybe got 720p out of it <clears throat> and now cameras are this small and sometimes even smaller and we're getting 4k out of these together yes yeah i put him outside okay you want to let him in i put the dog outside my wife was yelling at me Barking. Yes. Now my now my daughter's coming. <laughs> Dude, oh, whoa! Cool. Look at all the mess, right? Look at the stuff, the mess that Daddy made there. This made a mess. Yeah, Daddy made a mess. I'm so sorry. Daddy, yes. Cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, what else? Messy. Oh, oh, so messy. Let's see. That's a wrap, Tess. Okay, can you say that? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yeah.